I am going to make crepes with oats in two easy ways. One with egg and one with just egg whites. To a blender, add egg and egg whites. Reset the scale. 200 grams old-fashioned oats. There is no need to grind them ahead of time. It will all blend finely together. Reset the scale again and add one cup of milk or you can use almond milk as well. This recipe will make enough crepes for the whole family. Pinch of salt. Reset the scale. One tablespoon of cornstarch, that's about 10 grams. And blend it until very smooth. Transfer to a large bowl. and start with one cup of sparkling water. You can keep on adding water for, to achieve the desired consistency. And I suggest starting one cup at a time so you don't overdo it. And as you can see, the batter is very thick. And after it all blends, add, check for consistency and add more. We need a very runny butter. And this is just a little trick to get everything out of my dishes and not waste anything. Just rinse it with the cup that I blended oats with, with that water. Everything goes to one spot anyway. And at this point, the batter is very runny. Let it sit for 15 to 30 minutes and it will thicken. And this is the right consistency for frying. It looks very runny, but that's what we need. Now the lighter version, the egg white only version, and I'm going to make half of the previous recipe. So half a cup of almond milk, and I'm using almond, so I have less calories. 100 grams of egg whites. One hundred grams of old fashioned oats. Pinch of salt. Half a tablespoon of cornstarch and we're resetting the scale again for five grams to make sure it's only five grams. And blend it all well. Same steps, you're gonna transfer it to a dish and add sparkling water. And again, I'm going to add only a cup of water into the blender to remove all bits and pieces. See how clean? Perfect. Nothing sticking to anything. And stir it. And this is also very runny, but just how we need it and set aside for 15 to 30 minutes. And I'm using this uh, frying tool for crepes. It's pretty cool, I have to say. It makes perfect, completely perfect crepes. It blew my mind how easy it was to use. And the crepes just come out perfectly and no mess. And it takes just a few seconds to heat up. I'm going to include a link below if, if you're interested in buying something similar. The batter thickened, as you can see. 
And if it got too thick for you, meaning thicker than what you see here, add a bit more of water to thin it out. Transfer the batter to the plate. This plate comes with the pan. And once it's heated, submerge the pan into the batter. And that's it. And it doesn't stick, guaranteed, perfect. No butter needed, no oils, nothing extra. And the crepe has to completely dry out before you flip it. Don't touch it too early or it will fall apart. When the edges are lifting, the chances are the crepe is ready. And repeat the process until you use all the batter. Here is the lighter version. The only difference that I noticed is that this one doesn't brown as nicely, but the taste was pretty much the same. And when the crepe's edges start lifting, flip it onto the other side. The texture is very solid. It doesn't break, but it is very soft. These crepes have a little holes, but it doesn't really bother, bother me. The, the food might come out a little bit. If it bothers you and you don't like the filling coming out of the pores, just fold it like so and add filling on top. I am happy how they turned out. They look almost like regular crepes. I'm very, very surprised. They're not falling apart. Look, perfection. Let's make the toppings. This one is my high protein chocolate peanut butter sauce. I would call it a fake Nutella. The PB2 makes it high protein. So I added a cocoa powder, the powdered peanut butter, PB2, and amounts you can adjust. This doesn't have to be exactly how I made it. You can adjust to your taste. And a syrup. I use, of course, the sugar-free syrup, but if you don't like sweeteners, go ahead, use honey, or use a maple syrup but make sure you account for the extra calories. I have here processed farmer's cheese. Um, processed meaning I blended it in the food processor. You can also use ricotta cheese if you don't have farmer's cheese. And I'm going to add 5% Greek yogurt and mix until smooth. No sweetness needed in that cheese because I'm going to mix it with this mango jam. I made it with fresh mangoes on a pan, just reduced it to this thick paste. You can use fresh strawberry, cut them up. They will perfectly complement the Nutella wannabe spread. And uh, smear the jam over the crepe, add cheese and yogurt cream. Fold it. Next, let's do the chocolate and PB2 sauce with strawberries. Feel free to add whatever you like to these grapes. You can even use them as wraps for savory food, like eggs and vegetables, anything pretty much you like. You can preserve them and keep them in the fridge and reheat them whenever you need. Make sure you check out this playlist for breakfast ideas and that's exactly what I'm going to see you next.